Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carla. This is Welding the Broken. I've been wanting to do videos for a long time now. I just didn't know exactly what I wanted to do it on. But um, right now we're currently in a pandemic. We're currently told to stay at home. So I've had nothing but extra time to kind of figure out, you know, what I wanted to do. And I think that God has been working with me. Um, and I just wanted to share a little bit about what he's been doing in my life with you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Recently, we have been doing class for college online. I'm um, pretty sure a lot of schools have been using Zoom. And well, one of my classes, I'm taking art history, and we're talking about the Greeks and uh, how the ancient Greeks wanted to recreate the ancient Egyptian sculptures and make them perfect, you know? They were all obsessed with perfection and uh, making the most perfect temple, the most perfect sculptures, capturing how perfect humanity is. So they spent lots of time uh, on their sculptures, right? Their, their sculptures were their masterpiece and their works of art. They spent a lot of time on the little details and just um, trying to perfect it, right? So when the piece was finished, it was their perfect piece. What I found interesting is that today, we can't find any of those pieces anywhere. Well, we can only find a little bit, you know? There's not many left in the world. And I wanted to know why. So the professor went and told us that um, back then, after they finished building the sculptures, the Greeks actually were the ones who destroyed their own sculptures. And so the lesson went on, but I kept wondering, you know, like, why would they destroy their own sculptures? Why would they take so much time to um, make something beautiful and so much, you know, material and just be very precise on details if all they were going to do in the end was destroy them? So I, I was wondering this, you know, I, I, I just couldn't understand, you know, if I worked really hard on something, I would take care of it, make sure it lasts, you know, not just destroy it. And so at the end of the lecture, she explained that the reason why the Greeks destroyed their own sculptures and their own masterpieces was because um, the neighborhood uh, civilizations, their enemies of the Greeks, they often came and tried to conquer their land and tried to steal their uh, possessions and you don't just conquer. So the Greeks had to destroy their own statues so that way they could make weapons and use them to defeat their enemies. Right, and so when I when I uh, heard this, I was like, "Wow, that's crazy!" Because this is something that God has been dealing with me in the past few days. You know, um, I just didn't understand why I was feeling broken the past few days. You know, I've been feeling um, for a long time now. I've been feeling really uh, sad, and I've had depression. I've been going through a lot of depression recently um, that I don't show, but you know, it, everyone feels that way sometimes. And so I was wondering why, if God loves me so much, why does he allow me to feel this way? And why does he allow things around me to just crumble, you know? Why, why do I feel so broken and so alone and so like I can't count on anybody? And I think a lot of people feel this way, um, especially a lot of the youth out there are feeling this way today. Um, and we, this is exactly the same situation, okay? God created each and every one of us to his image and he's perfect. Therefore, we were created perfect. He took his time to mold us, okay? That God taking his time to form us, you know, he created us and he created us to his image, you know, perfection. And so why then does he allow pandemics to happen and does he allow us to fall and feel broken? And it's because God is working in our lives, you know, just like the Greeks had to destroy their masterpiece and then build weapons out of it, God is building something strong out of us. And the same way that they took those pieces that perhaps when they broke the statue, those pieces were nothing, they had to build them, they had to uh, form them. And the pieces they used were made out of metal, which I found was interesting because metal is really hard material to mold in order to mold it you need to weld it and that's you know what my channel is called welding the broken because in order to get something that's broken those little pieces and turn it into a weapon that you can use something effective that you can use against the enemy you need to it needs to go through a process of heating and intense heating with a blow torch is what welders use um, and then hammering because you need to break off pieces to make them fit 
So that's exactly what God is doing, right? The process that we're going through. And everybody goes through their own process. Not everybody's process is the same. But the process that each individual person is going through right now is a process of intense heat. And it's molding you and it's forming you into the person that you need to be for when those attacks start to come. And that's what God's been doing in my life because um, I have always been that girl who just didn't say anything and you know I, I let people take advantage of me a lot and that kind of uh, crushed my self-esteem in a lot of different ways and it kind of just it broke me really I felt I felt broken I felt like a lot of pieces of shattered metal and I didn't know what was going on you know I, I, I didn't feel whole anymore but I think that that's just God working and it's my process just like other people are going through their process and at the end of the day the finished work the the finished work of welders what they um, do is they create something harmonious and whole which is what God is doing with us he's taking all those little pieces and if you let him if you let him come in and weld your life then he's gonna put them together and make him into something even greater and something even more effective and efficient which is what we want to be when those attacks start coming so that's that's something that uh, God has been talking to me a lot. Psalm 147 verse 3, which says, He heals the heartbroken and binds up their wounds. So that's what he's doing, right? A lot of times we've experienced disappointments, we've experienced failures, we've experienced um, loss of people around us, we've experienced um, backstabbing, we've been wounded before. And what he does is he comes and he picks up all those different pieces that life has just, you know, uh, broken off of us and he makes him into something whole. And I wanted uh, you guys to understand that today, no matter what the process is that you're going through, if you let him, you need to let him, you know, uh, if God wants to help you and his arms are open and you need to accept him. And then the minute that you start accepting him and the minute that you start just, you know, opening your heart and telling him, God, I'm broken and I need to be fixed he's gonna start working he's already working and the reason why you've watched to this um, point in the video is because God is already starting that process with you even if you don't see it at this moment yet so that is what I wanted to talk about today um, this is my first video and I am super excited to continue with this uh, recording process and just kind of sharing what um, God has for you guys um, because to me he changed me a lot and I promise you that he wants the same for you. All you need to do is let him in, okay? His arms are outstretched for you. Just let him in, okay? So that's what, what I wanna get through, through to you guys. I'm also currently working on a website because I want to post blogs about all the topics that I talk about on here. So that's kind of still um, a little bit down the line. I'm still working on it, but um, I do wanna post that. I also want to post um, just, you know, videos to inspire you guys, encourage you guys. I want to post videos explaining pa uh, Bible passages. Maybe sometimes we, you know, sometimes we read things and we don't really understand them. So I really want to explain, open up your mentality about what it is to be Christian or to have God in your life and just understand that this isn't about religion or about following procedures that church requires this is nothing like that this is about just me being a messenger that god sends to speak to you guys and open up your um mindset a little bit over the relationship with god which i will um talk more in further videos so for now i just want to leave you guys with this if you are feeling broken today then let today be the start of that healing process, of that welding process. Let God be the welder in your lives and let him weld you who are broken today. So that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Um, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you guys never miss a video. So that's it for today. Uh, see you in the next one.